to the pandemic. Right now, consider this figure. An average of three Americans are testing positive every second. In New York City and in New Jersey, the number of daily cases have doubled in the past week. Another one day record in New York State today, more than 67,000 new cases. The positivity rate in the state, 18.5%. New Jersey, as you can see, reporting more than 20,000 new cases and a whopping positivity rate of more than 37, almost 38%. And in Connecticut, more than 7,500 new cases, a positivity rate approaching 8%. 18% staggering numbers. Meanwhile, another day of long lines today for testing in New York City. Governor Hochul today warning the post holiday spike is coming in January, but it feels like it's already here. Johns Hopkins says the U.S. reported 377,000 new cases and more than 2,300 deaths yesterday. A small percentage of that could be, maybe, some states reporting some of their weekend holiday numbers in that figure, but it's still far more than before. Blinders off, masks on, shots in. We begin our coverage with Iowa News reporter Stefan Kim. So our medical leave right now is at 30% for EMS and 17 for fire personnel. Uh, those numbers are even higher than they were uh, back when, when the, we were at the height of the pandemic. FDNY Commissioner Daniel Nigro sounding the alarm bell, but reassuring the city every EMS station and firehouse is open, every call is being answered, because more than 100 new EMTs have been deployed and mandatory overtime is filling staffing gaps. But a plea to New Yorkers, do not call 911 unless it's an emergency. The department even posting this reminder on social media after fielding hundreds of more calls a day, some asking for an ambulance for a ride to the hospital for a COVID test. Don't call us if you need a test. We don't do testing. Don't call us if you think you should get a ride to the hospital for testing, because that's really not where you should go for a test. This, as the NYPD says, 17% of its personnel called out sick yesterday. The surge in positive cases also forcing City MD to close even more sites due to staffing shortages. 31 City MD sites now temporarily closed. And it couldn't come at a worse time as testing sites are getting crushed. 13 new state testing sites open today, at least one in every borough. Not enough, though, to alleviate their frustration and anxiety. At this new testing site inside a state office building in Harlem, complaints about only a few state workers conducting tests, forcing many to wait hours in line. And you tell people to come out here to get COVID testing at the state office building, the state, the government, yeah. and then you got one person working? Yeah, it concerns me. It concerns me a lot, and that's why I'm standing here waiting, and it shouldn't be that. We're basically preparing for a January surge. We know it's coming, and we're naive to think it won't. And if you were hoping the governor would have some news to calm the nerves, you'd be mistaken. New York setting another daily record with 67,000 positive tests. The governor says brace yourselves. It's going to get worse in a hurry. We do think there's going to be a spike in cases that's going to continue, not just in our positive rates, but also in hospitalizations.